Hello and welcome everyone. Today at Acme 2023, I'm here in conversation with few students from Sairam Institution. Uh, could you give us a brief on your college and how they have been helping you out? Sure. I am from Sairam Engineering College. I, they are my classmates. They are also from the same stream. So we belong to the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. And we do work in the Sairam Techno Incubator. So in our Sairam Engineering College, we have an incubation cell named Sairam Techno Incubator, where students from all streams can come down and uh, talk about their ideas which do they have. And uh, definitely college will support it, all the funds if the ideas are going to be worthy. And uh, what are the products that you have been exhibiting here? Yeah, ma'am, we have four products here. So the first one is the aquaculture water monitoring system. So what it does is uh, this machine will be let into the pond and it will actually monitor the quality of the water and it is useful for the health of the aquatic beings. So if the water quality is not good means aquatic health beings are going to be get affected. So in order to monitor it, this aquaculture water monitoring system will be let into the pond. It will monitor the quality of water and it will help us and it, we also have an app for it. So it measures the total dissolved salt temperature, humidity and it shows in the app. So definitely it will be helpful for the marine ecosystem. And this one is an autonomous surveillance drone. It is used for the uh, post uh, flood disaster areas and we will be using it for the surveillance also. And it is used to measure the underwater depth also. So this, uh, for these purposes this autonomous surveillance drone is used. And we also have this uh, virtual reality and augmented reality string. So what you will do is you will be developing games for virtual reality. And uh, in augmented reality, we are also developing apps for school children. So basically, nowadays children are not using textbook. What we will do is, we are creating 3D apps for children so that children can easily learn things from it. So we will be giving a live demo of what is happening here. So my teammate, uh, Mr. Suhail, will hand over. So these are the actual displays. So when people or the children learn like A4 Apple means, you will be getting an additional audio which is attached to it. So this is augmented reality where it is like an uh, actual addition to whatever you see. So this is before ball, right? So children learn it from the textbooks. But now children from age one are looking forward to the phones at a long time. And when you go for the animal stream, you will get to know the actual simulation of how the cheetah runs. So when children uh, view this, they get to know that cheetahs run fast. And when they go for rhinoceros or something, they get to know that rhinoceros or gorilla moves slow when compared to cheetah. So we've been designing it with the animation also. And this is for the elementary school children. And this one is for the uh, school children above 6th grade. So this is based on the NCRT books. And what you'll do is you'll get an animation of how the skeleton system actually looks. So when you get to view this picture, you can't clearly see what is there in it. But when you get to see through this, you can actually understand how the skeleton system is, how the rib cage is, and each and every part will be understood clearly from this. So this is where augmented reality helps us. And the next one is the virtual reality. So that is a completely different environment. So here you have the virtual reality headset. So this headset is developed by Meta, and this product is named as Oculus Quest 2. Our college is funding with uh, uh, enough funds in order to buy this headset, and we are working on the software part inside this. So my teammate Mr. Krithik Raga will explain how this happens. Myself, Krithik Raha, I have developed a small game which is uh, based on a military simulation shooting purpose. So we are also developing a mixed reality game which uh, without using the controller we can also play that game. So now I will demonstrate with that. So whatever he sees inside the headset will be streamed over in the laptop. So that is the actual game he has developed. We have the controllers, that is the right controller at the left, uh, left controller. So this is how we manage this. Yeah, this is completely made with Unity platform. And this is the actual gaming uh, space. So you get to see what is actually there inside this headset now. He is playing this game now. So he is picking up the gun. And he is loading the bullets into it. And he's loading it and he aims at the target and he shoots it. So these games are given as tasks in the internship process. Yeah, and this is the environment inside this. Virtual environment, completely different from the real world environment. Yeah, this is the actual uh, physical field you have. 
So whenever new people or freshmen come into Army, instead of getting into the field and realizing what it is, they can actually learn from the simulation here itself. So that when they go to the field, they can understand how the actual simulation works. So he shoots at the target over there. Uh, what are your achievements? Yeah, we have uh, some of the patented products and we have also sold an agriculture drone to a company named Asian Industries. And next is we also have 80s and startups in our college. So all these things is funded by our college. Whenever the college finds an idea useful, they will definitely come up with the funds and that's where we get the energy in order to do all this stuff. We have 80 some startups here that is working and we also have some patented product. This one is actually a patented product and it's been approved. So all the very best to you and uh, best of luck. Thank you.